Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to um, ingest strings via JAXARest and forward them to a reactive messaging. So you then, for instance, convert a JAXARest call into a Kafka message, for instance. So how to do that? I would like to start with an empty Quarkus project with the group ID, let's say Ahex and the uh, artifact ID, or React is uh, actually a great name. So uh, yes, I would like to have a resource and now go with that. So then I would like to switch to React and then uh, open Visual Studio Code inside the project because I would like to add two extensions to the project. And um, so before we do this, uh, I would like to delete the uh, rest assured tests and also the rest assured dependencies so we don't need them. It doesn't matter for now but uh, we use uh, in projects micro profile rest client for testing. So this is a unnecessary dependency. So we have now uh, just the rest, rest is in unit five is fine. So now let's transform the class uh, hello resource uh, from get to post. This is what I would like to do. And instead of doing this, I would like to call the method uh, forward and uh, I would like to accept a message and then just uh, say, just add here the message. Okay, fine. So now um, there's a nice, um, oh, I forgot just to add the, um, the extensions. And for that, I need two extensions. One is open API and I just picked the small I open API and the other one is the messaging is this uh, messaging small right reactive messaging. So uh, we need the uh, two extensions or dependencies. Okay, now, yes, uh, always. So what I would like to do is, I would like to inject the um, emitter. And this is the, the entire trick here. And from micro profile of type string, and this is the emitter. And then I uh, also have to specify the channel channel and the channel is going to be um let's call it hello because also hello so so now we are basically done except uh what we also have to do is we have to invoke uh we have to send the message and this is with that and then we are done so um at the same time what i can do is i can just um uh, add a class uh hello listener which is going to listen to this channel. And I would like to make it a little bit more complicated. So this will also return a string and say on hello. And this is the uh, hello message. And then what I would like to do is I, I'm listening for the incoming, incoming, uh, completely wrong, to incoming annotation. Exactly. And uh, it was hello. And the outgoing, this is the, uh, the other channel. I would like to call it, let's say, processed or confirmed, doesn't matter. And uh, I would like to, to out, <laughs> outcoming outgoing outgoing so it has to be outgoing okay we have both and then i can do the following um, now let's do the assist trace to see that we are actually here hello and what i'm going to do is to return confirmed with the hello so done now what i would like to do is i would like to create another uh, class and call uh, confirmed listener confirmed listener Java and then a public method uh, on confirmation string message sys trace and just add the message Okay, and of course, I have to do here the incoming again and use the channel. And the channel is uh, confirmed, I think. So let's see. Confirmed, confirmed. Okay. 
So let's see whether it works. Maven, compile, Quarkus dev, bronk, Quarkus dev, and what we got is a con incoming annotation is not imported. Now it is. So let's see. Okay, um, seems to work. So then I would like to open a browser and go to localhost um, 8080. And then this is the uh, application. And then to swag UI. This is why I included the open API extension. And I would like to post a message with uh, with let's see I have hello resource string message forward produces consumes so let's reopen that so now it looks better so um, I would like to try it out and now is hello Duke execute should be 204 uh, it is and what, uh, as you can see, it is, it is working. So we have forward hello Duke to on hello hello Duke, and we got on confirmation confirmed hello Duke back. And this uh, confirmed listener receives the message. And um, what we of course could do now we have there is no no document or no no additional configuration, but I could now very easily map this message here from the outgoing message into, for instance, a Kafka topic, WebSocket or whatever. So. Thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, uh, Ehex Live, and uh, bye.